yeah thank you so much mr no, shastri yeah. giving this opportunity and i'm really thankful to professor kulkarni who called me this morning and motivated me to be part of this meeting and uh, of course all well yes sir i had some discussion a week back and uh, well it was nice to hear from him uh, what is our role iipt's role well kulkarni sir really mentioned a uh, great insight how things can roll okay and what i still feel he says formal education is limited to uh, your degree but the education continues even after that even if you take a job you know you have to learn how to do job perform your duties for example teaching is one challenging task okay so while taking your degree masters or phd you do not learn many things okay so once you take a job become an assistant professor or a teacher in a school you have to learn how to teach so that's really a challenging task and at the association of physics teachers and even when we interacted probably about 20 years back in one of the meeting and you taught us how to use the tracker software to do the innovative experiment and analyze them precisely so i mean what i feel i started my journey almost uh, 40 years back as a student with professor babla sara okay he used to stress upon fundamental concepts and the intuitive learning as professor kulkarni sir mentioned although we had a formal degree masters physics karke aaye phd join kiya but when you go to the class you are expressing the ideas which you have assimilated okay so that sort of expression or communication on teaching community that's uh, tremendous you know once you have accepted the job of a teacher this is what i like to submit or advice to most of the students who have joined this meeting that once you are committed to do this job do it with your best vigor and never hesitate to learn whatever knowledge is available here and there so with this as a theme we are trying to set up the innovation hub all over the country with the small toys i'm really grateful to professor varma also he has several innovative ideas on basic concepts so what we are doing is giving them a shape so that they are adaptable in any system it may be the school or it may be the college or it may be the university and my humble submission is only for these teachers who are there once they take the job they should take it seriously at least clarify their concepts so that the next generation is prepared with more confidence okay and of course the intuition plays a very important role because the way student learn these days all right the technology is changing day by day and a lot of pressure you can use mobile or cannot use mobile you know open book exam is a challenging task these day okay uh, so designing the problem for evaluation doing the experiment in the laboratory apart from the traditional because when i was doing masters and uh, phd there were a lot of experiment on nuclear physics and we are missing them now when for examination in any college all right either there will be experiment on electronics even the fundamental physics experiments are missing you know in many laboratories okay which we name all right the things are changing we are stressing upon the virtual lab whatever you are you have learned you believe on somebody else has done it okay so i mean when you impart education to the next generation if you don't have a confidence okay you cannot impart you cannot do justice so well 
in education, what we feel is that the teachers who are joining this mission, okay, they should develop some self-confidence. They can do it and they have to try themselves, okay? Don't believe on whatever is a YouTube available or somebody has designed some experiment. Like you said, tracker you can use, but until I, ask, I do myself, you know, I don't develop the confidence, okay? And I cannot generation, all right? In the same way, the kind of experiment we have set up in different places, we do it, we try it, and once we are able to repeat them successfully, okay, then we can say this is so simple, okay? Because once the student looks at it first time, he says it's a magic, but then he assimilates yeah, it behaves in the same way, okay, then it goes home, okay. So, well, I just like to sum up my thoughts along with this discussion that uh, the teacher's training program is very essential, you know, as the things are changing. Uh, whatever uh, faculty joins in any institution, it has to assimilate what he's going to deliver, okay? Develop a confidence and until and unless he interacts with these uh, colleagues, seniors, teachers, you know, like the uh, earlier well, just uh, mentioned that the UGC has that teacher's training program, okay? Right from the schools, there are Dites and other places where the teacher's training programs are there. NCRT is doing the teacher's training program. Well, UGC emphasize in uh, education reforms, uh, the academy staff colleges were there. So that is essential, you know. So the initial education, formal education is limited to 23 or 24, as Professor Kulkan mentioned. But what I feel is it's all over for teachers. It's a lifelong. <laughs> it started out from that, yes, correct, exactly. So it was really useful, motivating discussion Bulgani sir has initiated. And we are for it. And we look forward to next level of discussions and uh, formulate some plan of action to do things better.